from the Pro Rock House of Worship. And we are here today to do some COVID comedy confessions. And our guest today is Candy Claire. Candy, tell us about yourself. How are you doing today? Well, thank you so much for having me. Um, I think that we all kind of need a bit of a cleanse right now. Um, my name's Candy. I am the director of development for New York Comedy Club and the booker for Fairfield, Atlantic City, and uh, Philadelphia Comedy Club. <laughs> Um, and I produce the Connecticut Comedy Festival. Although right now, all these things are either online or on hold. So super fun times. Super fun times. So, so tell us, you're here today to confess a sin. Right what now, is your sin today, Candy? If I see on Instagram or if I see on any social media, because that's all we can see right now, someone who is quarantining with a man, a pool, or even an outside area, I want to murder them. Like I want to legit kill them. <laughs> you wanna, wait, okay, so you haven't killed anybody yet though, right? Not yet. Not but yet. I feel like when we go to phase one, that we might be in for a different kind of a ride. <laughs> yeah, well, the, you know, you know, gun, the gun shops were, you know, considered essential yes. places, right? Absolutely. So, yeah, well, so. there were lines outside of those things. And at first I was like, why would you, what is going on? Why are people in line for guns? But and now you, I get it. <laughs> now, yeah, you thought it was to, to be able to protect yourself for food right. and fight, right? No, it's so now you can go murder the people that you want to go get. Yo, man. And take their home. <laughs> now, hopefully you didn't get in those lines, right? You didn't, you didn't. You didn't Not yet. Home. Not yet. Not yet. But this is why I'm talking to you today. Because yeah, we got to get you out of this, right? You know, exactly. so let's see, you said it was if they had a man. A man. A pool. Mm -hmm. Or what or else was it? Any kind of an outside area. <laughs> an outside area. So, so I'm assuming you live in a city where you're trapped in your house. And I live in a 400 square foot apartment one bedroom with an 11 year old. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that's, there that's... is a lot of rage happening. Yes. It could be like a daily cat fight almost mm -hmm. in, the, in that house, you know? Yeah. Uh, although I'm sure your 11 year old is uh, pretty respectful, you know? Yeah. She's pretty respectful. She's on her computer. She's got a lot of online friends, online which friends. in real life I would be against, but now I'm all for it because it is getting her out of <laughs> my hair. That keeps her out of your trouble, right? So let's right, see. If your online friends have a man or a pool or an outside area. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. We gotta stop that. We gotta. So, 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 uh, you know, those things are only bothering you because you feel that you want them, right? Is yes, that I'm what? Coveting. You're coveting. You're coveting. Medicine, you're yeah. coveting everybody else's man. Mm -hmm. You're coveting everybody That's else's everything. pool. I don't know if there's pool in the Bible. Jeez, I don't know pool in the Bible. You know <laughs> I, what I mean? Know. I don't know. You know, they, they didn't even have pools. Is there a or a lanai in the Bible? Yeah, it would have been a river or something, you know? Or an um, outdoor barbecue. <laughs> an outdoor barbecue? Yeah, well, all they had was outdoor spaces back then. <laughs> true. Back then, you'd have been wishing for the apartment to hang out in, you know? You know, instead of the tent, you know? Can you exactly. imagine doing this quarantine in a tent? You know, mm -hmm. where you can only roll over one way or roll over the other? Yep. You roll over and squish your 11 year old at that right, point. You could huh? push me in a, in a raft down the river right now, and that would be something divine for me. And you'd be social distancing at the same time. Absolutely. Hallelujah. So you, you're connected to all this comedy that you were talking about mm -hmm. before. So, so can you turn this into a twist? Can you make some good sets out of this? Do you write your own comedy? Can you? Can well, you... I've been doing silly videos with my daughter. With your so, daughter. Yeah. So we did yesterday we did Freaky Friday and we've done video parodies based on pigeons that have nested next to my window air conditioner. Oh, so now so, the pigeons are driving you crazy too? But also I can't turn the air conditioner on now <laughs> because <laughs> I they it would be like a jet engine to the poor pigeons. So we've created So you're gonna air... roast yourself to save the pigeons. Yes. Yeah. Maybe that might make up for the coveting. Right? Know, you, know? you know, you're doing or good on one hand. One murder. One murder, at least. Well, at least good for one murder, right? <laughs> you got to think about this, right? If you just let it drive you crazy, right? And you don't think about the fact that you're actually going to kill somebody, then at least it's not premeditated, right? We can get you down oh, off that charge. Oh, thank you. Don't, don't be going for the premeditated stuff. Just stop thinking yeah. about the murder. And if it accidentally happens, you know, it accidentally happens someday. You never know, <laughs> you know, but... Uh, maybe what you should do is get some of that comedy energy going on these men in these pools. And maybe you could figure out a way to have the guy drown in the pool without you doing it. And then it really wouldn't be murder, right? It would be. Oh you. God. I mean, yes. You There's, know, and then, and then if they drown in the pool with the murder, you know, then you could actually go take it over. But, but then again, 
you really want the wife to drown or the girlfriend to drown, not the man, right? You could be around. I mean, I don't have a problem with that. No, I, you don't care if she stays? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm going to praying mantis the shit out of this. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm doing these silly videos with my kid to try to feel like I'm involved in her life somehow. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, you know, I think right now, comedy-wise, we're in a place where everything can be weird and silly and ridiculous and that we really just need to be going for it. It could be like it's our revolution a little bit because we're all in the same position. When we all get back out there, everyone's nuts and bolts are going to be rusty. Was that a sexual reference? I don't know. It's been a real long time for me. But I'm just saying, like, there's so many crazy things that we can be doing right now. So sins, I Let think, it go. Let's let, let it, it go. go. Let it, right? Hallelujah. Like, honestly, like, we got to debate on whether this whole covenant thing is really a sin, right? I mean, let's think about it. Let's just talk about this for a right. second, right? Is covenant well, really it's a like, sin? like, have you had on non-offending pedophiles? <laughs> Well, we're not really allowed to disclose. You know, we don't really have that doctor, client, patient thing. And I, I do have to like let police know when some people yeah. confess some things. Because you know, my job is to try to help you ease the pain and get you out of it, right? Mm -hmm. So, so, but, but I still debate on the covenant thing because the reality of it is, is I think personally, with all my years of confessions and everything else, everybody covens something. Mm -hmm. You, what do you think? You think, you know, if, you, well, if you're I mean, thinking listen, you don't act, is it a sin? The first, I, you know what? I have to say it's not. It's not. <laughs> because I'm in that place. You're in that place, yeah. right? And the right. first time I heard of the word covet was Signs of the Lambs, and they took it to a whole other level. A whole you know? other level. <laughs> a whole other level. Well, I, I feel like that is a layer of protection for me and Jodie Foster. Yeah. So. so I think, I think that as long as you keep it, no premeditation. Stop thinking about the murder part, right? Right? You can you can covet, you can be a little jealous, you can want the man or the pool. Personally, me, I'd rather have the pool, but you know, <laughs> you know. There's jets in the pool. You're There's right. jets in the pool, you know. Ease up that yeah. pain, you know, uh -huh. do some real good. So let's keep the coveting to the pool, you know, the wide open spaces, go find a park. You know, maybe through this whole Zoom thing and everything else and online dating, and maybe you'll find that man. You never maybe. know. Maybe. So stay positive. That's true. Stay positive. <laughs> Again, don't do the premeditation thing because that's a harder one to get you off on. That's right. right. Give me so, a manslaughter. No yeah. manslaughter here. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, how he was accidental. He fell in the pool. What am I going to do? You know? Right, right. Hallelujah. Who's your favorite? Who's your favorite singer? Who's your favorite rock and roll or? Musician. Oh, well, Axl Rose is God, right? Axl Rose is God. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's what we're going to do, right? We're going to absolve you of your sins, right? Here's what we're going to do. We are going to say, I'm Gandy Glare, and I love Axl Rose. Hail Axl. <laughs> and I want a poo. I want a poo, and I know I want a poo, but hail Axl Rose. Can you do that? Can you get up there and say that? Can you do that? I'm Gandy Glare, and I love Axl Rose, and I Pretty good, right? That's good, but you can get it out there a little more, you know. I want a pool in some wide open spaces, you know. Get it, let it out a there. Pool. Let it wide I want, open spaces. I want a pool. Yeah. A pool. Yeah. All right. I think you do now. You got to get on Facebook Live. Do that once, and you'll be absolved of all your things. Don't premeditate. Don't think about okay. that guy. You know. So you know, positive images. You know, and they'll come to you. I promise. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yay.